So this week we're working on Excel module five. And the first thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is breaking external links in a worksheet. And so um, the first thing you need to do is of course make sure you're on the correct worksheet um, in your file, in your workbook. So um, we're on the manager information tab in our workbook. And so I'm gonna select the files or the group of cells sorry, not the files, the group of cells that I want to um, edit. And you notice when I select these cells up here in the status bar, you can see that they're linking out to an external place or another sheet in my workbook. And so in order to, bring, to break those external links in my worksheet, what I'm gonna be doing is from the data tab, I will go to my, um, I will go to the queries and connections and then edit my links. And when I do that, I can just break the link in there. And so when I click that link, it will, um, it will pop up this message. And it will say breaking links permanently converts formulas and external references to their existing values. Because this cannot be undone, you may want to save a version of this file with a new name. Are you sure you want to break the links? Now, when you um, first started this project, this is the name that it saved as. It's NP underscore EX19 underscore 5A with your name and the number one. Now, the very first thing it tells you to do is save this file with the number two. So if you have done that, then you already have the version one of this saved. So if you did something and you screwed this up the, on the first try, then you already have a, a version of this saved. So make sure that you've already saved this with the number two up here, like it told you to do in the project. And that way you don't have to worry about um, having to go back and re-download the file to start over if you've made a mistake. So um, you don't have to worry about that, um, you know, going back and redoing it if you've messed up. Once you've done that, you'll hit close and after you've break it, broken your links and, and you can move on and you've broken the links in there. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is to creating a hyperlink. So you see in here, anytime you have a hyperlink in Excel, it's going to show up with blue lettering and it'll be underlined. And that just lets you know that, hey, these items are hyperlinked. So they're linking out to another place in my document. So if I want to create a hyperlink, you're just going to click in the desired cell where you want to create your hyperlink and, and then go to the, again, the insert tab and then go to the link group and click on link. So once you get there, you've got several options in here. If you're wanting to um, link that, link something in there to an existing file, you can choose that option. If you're wanting to um, place a document there, you can do that. You can um, create a new document. So you can link out to different items. You can also do an email address, which is what you're gonna be doing on your assignment in this particular step. So you'll just type your email address that you want. You can also change the text to display. So if it asks you to do that, so if I wanted it to say something different than, than what the email address is, I can put the text to display right here in this box. I put my email address here. Um, I can give a brief note, especially this is good to do if you're working in a company and somebody behind you is coming and looking at this, or if you're working in a group project or something, you can give a little note and that way the next person that looks at this, they're like, oh, okay, that's what this is about, or that's what this is for. So that's what the subject is for. It's just a little note. Um, and then the screen tip, sometimes you'll give a screen tip. That just means when you hover over it or whatever, that's the tip that's gonna pop up when you hover over that. Um, 
so that's that's how you insert the hyperlink. Um, if you're creating a hyperlink to a specific cell reference for another file, I talked about this a little bit. It's, it's exactly the same thing, except if you're doing it for another file, you'll select on um, an existing file and you'll locate the location of that file in here. So if you have it um, like your download folder, if it's in your download folder, again, if it's in a specific location, you'll go and find your particular location where your file is located. Um, if you have like a, an, a flash drive on there, if it's on your hard drive, if it's on, um, you know, just wherever you have it. Most of the time, it's probably gonna be in your download folder because you probably just downloaded it from, um, from the website or something like that. But anyway, go and find your file and then you'll just uh, pull up the information and put it on there. See if there's anything else on hyperlinks. Okay, to edit a hyperlink, it's gonna show you how to edit hyperlink. Now, if you just regular left, left click on your link, try to take you to that location. So you want to right click on the hyperlink to edit it, and it's gonna give you this shortcut window, and you'll just click on edit hyperlink. Okay, and that's how you edit your hyperlink. And then you get the same box so that we've been working in. So that's the shortcut way to get up there. And you can edit your hyperlink. You can remove the link again. You can do all these options that we've been talking about here. Um, and that's how you unlink it, edit it. Um, okay, let's move on to grouping worksheets. So when I have grouping worksheets, when I have multiple worksheets that look exactly the same. See how all these worksheets, they're named something different. So the benefit to doing this is say I run a business and I have sales um, in multiple states, okay? And I'm trying to keep track of these sales, but see how I need to total all of these sales the sales column for each one of these worksheets. And that's really tedious and time consuming. And I don't wanna go back. What if I had a hundred of these things to do? You know, maybe I had um, a bunch of McDonald's that I was, that I owned or, or ran, and I had to keep up with the sales of all the McDonald's in central Arkansas. Well, that would be tedious and time consuming to go through all of their weekly sales reports and you know, total up the sales for the week or the month or the year or something like that. Well, if I had them all set up the same for each McDonald's in say, you know, Central Arkansas for Conway and Little Rock and North Little Rock and Maumelle and you know, all the different towns around here, I could have all their sales reports look exactly the same, have them on an Excel spreadsheet across and I could group them together. So to group a worksheet, you're going to click on the very first item that you want to group, hold down your shift key, and click on the last item. Now do you see how all three of these are in bold now? So now all three of these worksheets are grouped. So any change I make in one of these cells, it's going to make the identical change in each one of the cells. And you can see at the very top, of your spreadsheet, the word group. So anytime I click on any one of those cells, it shows that those are grouped, okay? So that's how you group an item. Um, just to ungroup one, you'll click any one of the items, any one of the, the names in that group. You just right click it and you click ungroup ungroup sheets and it ungroups it. See, they're ungrouped now. So to group them back, I'm gonna do the same thing. Hold down my shift key and click on the, I'm gonna hold it for the first one and click on the one in the last one. And now they're grouped again. Um, let's look at moving or making a copy of a worksheet. 
if I want to move or make a copy of the worksheet, there's a couple of different ways I can do that. I can just click on the sheet I want to move and hold it down and then I can move that sheet. See how it turns into like a little piece of paper. I can click and move it and now that that sheet moves to whatever location I want. I can also just um, right click on it. I can click move or copy and then I can tell it where I want it to be moved in the list. I can also move it to another workbook as well. I don't think we're going to be doing any of that today, but um, just FYI, you can do that as well. Um, notice it says before the sheet. So that's the order that it will be moved in. So if you're moving it and I want to move documentation um, before Idaho, I would click on Idaho and click OK. And now documentation is moved before Idaho. So it changes the order. Okay, let's move that back. Um, what if I want to make a copy of a worksheet? So if I want to copy what's in this information, maybe I want to make a new sales sheet because I have a new, a new company starting up in Arkansas. Okay, so I can just move or copy, do create a copy, click that box, tell what location I want it in, and then click OK. So see, it's called Idaho 2. Now this goes into our next slide, which is renaming a worksheet. So to rename a worksheet, there's of course a couple of different ways you can do that as well. I can double click on the name to select it and just start typing. Or, and click enter, or I can right click and click rename and it'll allow me to rename that sheet. Okay. Um, if I want to delete a sheet, maybe I put one in there and I don't need it in there, I can just delete that sheet, right click. Okay. So if I am creating a formula using SUM and 3D references, you wanna make sure that your worksheets are grouped Okay, to do that. And what SUM and 3D references do is it makes um, a change in all of the, the worksheets inside my group. So a 3D reference is a reference to, you know, it's like 3D. It goes to all, all of them. So it's a 3D reference. So it references something. Um, in that way. So I'm going to make a reference here using sum, the formula sum. So equals sum to start typing that. I double click on sum when it pops up from the menu. This is my shortcut that I like using. So to go into the formula tab, which you're welcome to go to the formula tab if you'd like. Um, I'm going to sum up these. So I'm selecting them from the list and click enter and here so there's my formula. So now when I go into Montana, it calculated the sum of quarter one in Montana. It calculated the sum of quarter one in Oregon as well. So that's the value of creating um, a group, okay? And that's what a 3D reference does. So it references the cell and not just one, but every item within that group, okay? So that's how you do that. Okay, creating a defined name. There's a couple of different ways that you can do a defined name. I'm gonna move over to this worksheet to do this. So to create a defined name, you can click you can highlight the cells, and I'm sorry, I don't have all this information filled in over here, but you can highlight the cells that you want to make a defined name, and you can click in the name box and name it here. So I could type 
a reference to this and name it. So this names, it references this group of cells. Okay, that's one way to create a defined name. The best way to create a defined name um, and that, that was using the name box. This again is the name box. Another way to do this is to <clears throat> creating a name from a range using the define name. I'm going to select the range where I want to use define names. I'm going to go up to the formula tab and use the name manager. And I'm going to go through and show you what each one of these does. Okay. Now again, I can use the name box to define the names in each one of these. I can use the define name box to name. Now it does the same thing as the name box here. Um, I can name it. And so it's, it's referencing those cells. I can create it from a selection. And it, it references to what, where it's used from the selection. Um, there are several different ways you can do that, okay? Um, so it, maybe it's used from a formula. So here's the references that I want to be named, but here is the options where you can can use those names. Okay, if you click on name manager, when you select the range of cells that you're wanting to use, and sometimes those cells are already, those names are already pre-populated for you. You can go in and make sure that they're there and make sure that they're referenced to the cells that you want them to. So you can go in and just double check that. If you edit any of the name, names that are in there, you just highlight from the name manager you're going to edit and then you go in and edit that one and there you, you go because I think that was one of them was to edit one of the um, the names in your name manager um, let's see so this is a very good box to to have and to know your defined names and know Um, linking cells. Okay, so when you're linking a cell back to um, something in your in your box, like if I want to link this to something else, the thing I want to do first, if I'm linking a cell, is I want to open the support file first before I link it back into um, my workbook that I'm working on. So I'm going to go and open the support file first. Let me double check the name of this support file. No, I'm linking it in consolidated. Sorry. Okay, so I'm linking cell G6 here into cell F6. I'm linking cell G6 in the consolidated cells worksheet to cell F6 in the consolidated cells 2020 worksheet in the support file um, 
2020 sales. So again, the first thing I want to do is I want to open up that support file. So I'm gonna go and open up my support file. So if that means you have to go back to download it, if you have to go to your download folder, if you've got it saved in another folder, um, wherever you might have that saved, you need to go and open up, open up that file. I should have had it ready to open for y'all. Okay, so I'm opening up my folder or my, my worksheet now. Okay, so make sure you enable the editing and move it over to the side. And it says to I'm linking this cell in F6 or G6 to cell F6 in this folder. So I'm gonna click on F6 in my support folder and I'm gonna link it back to G6 here. Okay, so that's the plan. I'm gonna link F6 to G6, okay? So, Open the supporting file. You're gonna click in the cell where you want to, the link to be located. So in this file, I'm gonna click equals, okay? I have my support file open over here, okay? I clicked equals. Now I'm gonna click at this cell and then I'm gonna so I'm pulling information. So I clicked equals, clicked over there, clicked enter. So it's pulling information from that workbook. When I click back in this, it's, it's pulling that information from that EX19 5A 2020 sales XLSX consolidated sales FX. So it's telling me the name of the file I'm pulling from and then the name of the, the sheet that I pulled from, and then the name of the cell that I pulled from. So it, it basically documents my trail. It leaves like breadcrumbs, a trail of breadcrumbs to let me know this is exactly what I linked to, the cell that I pulled that information from, this is where I got my data. So if there's an issue with that data, I know how to go and find that data. So if I made a mistake in that number, I can go back to that worksheet and figure out where the error came from and fix that error. Somebody else comes behind me and looks at this workbook and says, no, those figures don't look right. They know how to trace that back and figure out the mistake. Okay, so um, I'm trying to tell you all the, the reasoning behind why we do, why we're doing this and why you would want to do this. Okay, why you would want to pull links and stuff. Um, and if you're working with multiple workbooks and multiple spreadsheets and later on, if you're in a job or maybe you have a job now, this might be a benefit to you. Instead of having to hand key in data, it keeps you from making errors. And if you do make a change somewhere else, you're not having to make it in multiple locations. It automatically does it for you. If I make a change in this workbook, it's gonna automatically update it everywhere I've got a link to that, okay? So that's the benefit of doing this with Excel, okay? So that was the last thing I wanted to talk about. Sorry, it was a lot of information today. It's basically just learning how to utilize links in our workbooks how to and how to manage that and how to set up um, using kind of defining names and stuff like that. And, and y'all will be playing around with, with the name manager. If you have questions when you're using that, um, just, just let me know and I'll be glad to help you walk through it. 
it's kind of fun when you get in there and get to playing with it and stuff. But okay, hope you guys have a great, have a great weekend, great day, and I will see you soon.